Hey guys, so in this tutorial we're going to create the wave system so that there's multiple waves of zombies that you have to get through. And, uh, and then later on we can add buying weapons in between the waves. So we're going to go to our game folder and go to our game mode. And we're going to make some new functions. We're going to make, or sorry, new custom events. So we're going to do custom event, new wave. And we'll get rid of spawn zombie and do new wave at the start. And we're going to make a new variable that'll be an integer. And we'll call it number of waves. We'll give it a default value of 3. So now we'll check uh, our value. We'll set to minus 1. We'll set that to. <clears throat> so that's if we do a new wave. Um, so we need to check if number of waves is greater than zero. And if it's not, we're going to do check for victory. So that'll start our uh, little check for victory sequence over here. Okay, okay. so uh, we'll just add some comments here so this is easier to see. Now, um, we need to change this to check for wave complete. So we'll do a new custom event, check for wave complete. And uh, honestly, it can pretty much be the same as check for victory, except it'll just call something else. So we'll do check for wave complete. Okay, so on check for wave complete, we'll just copy and paste all this stuff. Except we'll add a new variable just so there's no errors later. Has completed wave. And we will drag this on top of this so it replaces it. Same with over here. Same with over here. And instead of this, we'll do new wave all right so check for wave complete so what this means is when uh, uh -oh. <clears throat> need to connect this here right so what's going to happen is on begin play we're going to do uh we're going to call new wave and if the number of waves is greater than zero we're going to set the number of waves to negative one and then do spawn zombie. But we're also going to set zombies to spawn. We're going to need to set this to a value that increases. So, um, right, so let's get. Hmm, how do we want to do this? There's a few ways we could do this. Um, okay. So there's a few ways we could do this. Um, we'll just do a new integer. We'll do it the lazy way. We'll name it current wave. So instead of number of wave, we'll make this exposed. Instead of doing this, we'll do current wave. As long as current wave is less than number of waves then we'll continue all right that makes more sense so then we'll set current wave current wave plus one and then we'll set zombies to spawn the current wave times Uh, times two, I guess, plus two. Okay, so that'll add an extra, so that'll add two plus two for each wave, which seems fine, I guess. So then we'll call spawn zombie, check for weight. 
Okay, so what this will do is on begin play, we'll call a new wave. We'll check if the current wave is less than the number of waves. And if it is, we'll add one to the current wave, and then we'll multiply that by two plus two to get the number of zombies we're going to spawn, and then we'll call spawn zombie. Spawn zombie will spawn a zombie, and uh, when there's no zombies left to spawn, it'll check for wave complete. Checking for wave complete, we'll check that all of our zombies are dead. If they are, it'll call... Uh, <clears throat> if the wave is complete, it'll call new wave, and if new wave, if the current wave is above the number of waves, it'll call check for victory, and that'll check that all the zombies are dead for victory. Right. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's just make sure that it actually works. Actually, we're going to need to add some text so we actually know that the new waves are going off. So we'll just do print string. New wave started, and uh, we got the U1 guy. Okay, so we'll just do, right, so, you know what, for now, just so it doesn't take too long, we'll just add, we'll multiply this by one, and multiply this by one, so there won't be that many zombies that spawn. So there's that, there's that, new wave started, and it should be an extra zombie, yep. The last one should have four zombies. My math isn't terrible. And you won, guy. All right, so we've got our uh, our little gameplay there. Okay, we got errors. That's not good. Okay, so we need to set, right, so we can clear the array um, when we uh, do a new wave. We'll clear the array. And uh, I guess do that down here too. Not sure that's really the problem. Uh, just make sure. Okay, it seems to have taken care of the error. Unless the error was related to the end, but uh, all right, that should be good for now. Um, so I'll wrap this video up, and in the next one, we'll um, I guess we'll start working on getting different weapons in, or maybe we should work on the zombie attack. We'll work on the zombie attack, so there's actual risk. And then we'll do weapons. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.